significantly. So we have this evidence, both that the body can shape the mind, at least at the facial level, um, and also that role changes can shape the mind. So what happens, okay, you take a role change, um, what happens if you do that at a really minimal level, like this tiny manipulation, this tiny intervention, for two minutes you say, I want you to stand like this, and it's going to make you feel more powerful. So this is what we did. We decided to uh, bring people into the lab and run a little experiment. And these people adopted for two minutes either high power poses or low power poses. And I'm just going to show you five of the poses, although they took on only two. So here's one, a couple more. This one has been dubbed the Wonder Woman by the media. Here are a couple more. So you can be standing or you can be sitting. Uh, and here are the low power poses. So you're folding up, you're making yourself small. This one is very low power. When you're touching your neck, you're really kind of protecting yourself. So this is what happens. They come in, they spit into a vial. We, for two minutes, say, you need to do this or this. They don't look at pictures of the poses. We don't want to prime them with the concept of power. We want them to be feeling power, right? So two minutes they do this. We then ask them, how powerful do you feel on a series of items? And then we give them an opportunity to gamble. And then we take another saliva sample. That's it. That's the whole experiment. So this is what we find. Risk tolerance, which is the gambling, what we find is that when you're, not, when the, when you're in the high power pose condition, 86% of you will gamble. When you're in the low power pose condition, only 60%. And that's a pretty whopping significant difference. Here's what we find on testosterone. From their baseline when they come in, high power people experience about a 20% increase and low power people experience about a 10% decrease. So again, two minutes and you get these changes. Here's what you get on cortisol. High power people experience about a 25% decrease and the low power people experience about a 15% increase. So two minutes lead to these hormonal changes that configure your brain to basically be either assertive, confident, and comfortable, or really stress reactive, um, and you know, feeling sort of shut down. And we've all had that feeling, right? So it seems that our nonverbals do govern how we think and feel about ourselves. So it's not just others, but it's also ourselves. Also, our bodies change our minds. But the next question, of course, is can power posing for a few minutes really change your life in meaningful ways? So this is in the lab. It's this little task. You know, it's just a couple of minutes. You know, where can you actually apply this, which we cared about, of course? 